This week, I had a client come to me asking if they could have a second blog template so that they could show content a little bit differently for a different type of content. Now, I haven't done this before, but I knew that it was going to be really easy to do with Generate Press. So in this really quick tutorial, I'm going to show you two different ways that you can achieve this, one by giving posts of a certain category a specific template, and the second option is by creating a completely custom taxonomy to control which template shows on which post. So let's go ahead and dive in and take a look at just how this is done. So I've gone ahead and created the two single post templates we're gonna be using in this example. This first one is single post template A. It has the terms, the title, the post date, the author name, the featured image, and the post content all in one nice centered column. At the bottom, it's got some featured posts or related content. And this keeps everything focused right in the middle of the screen. But we also have post template B. In this one, we have a two column layout where the featured image is on the left with the terms, the title, and the post, name, the post author on the right. And then the content is broken up in two columns as well. So on the left, we have all the post content. And on the right, we're showing our most popular posts. So the idea here is that we can use both of these templates on the site, but use them where and when we need to. So in this video, I'm actually going to show you two different ways you can approach this. Both work perfectly fine, but it's going to depend on what your use case is. So the first one we're going to look at is the most simple. If we jump back here to the back end and we go to all of our posts, we can see that we have six posts published in here, and I'm using two different categories. There's the category of food, and there's the category of travel. So one way you might want to do this is breaking it up to show post template A for all the food posts and post template B for all the travel posts. So that's what we'll do first. We'll go back in here into our first single post template, and we'll say down here in the display rules that we want to add the location rule. And what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down here to post category, and we're going to say we want this post template A for food. So anything that's in the category of food is going to get template A. We'll go ahead and save that. And now we'll go to template B, scroll down, add the location rule again for post template or post category, excuse me. And we'll do this one for travel. And we'll go ahead and hit update on that. So now if we go back into our post, we'll open one of these food ones and we'll open one of the travel ones. So let me go ahead and get those both opened up. And you can see here in the food post, we have post template A. And in the travel post, we have post template B. So if you know that all of your content in a specific category is going to have one post template or the other, this is a really easy way to set it up that works beautifully. However, there are some cases where it's actually not going to be by your post category. So you need a, a, another option to be able to change which template you're going to use. Luckily, that's really simple too, and that's what we're going to do next. Back on the back end of the website, you can see that I've installed the custom post type UI plugin. You can get this free from the repository. Just go to plugins, add new, and search for CPT UI. Once you have that installed and activated, hover over it and click on add or edit taxonomies. And what we're going to do here is create a new taxonomy to control which template is shown. So we'll call this post template. The plural name will say post templates. And for the singular, we'll go with post template. Now we want to attach this to the post post type. And then we to make this easier, like a category rather than a tag, we're going to change the hierarchy to true. So we'll change this here. It's just under settings. And we'll go ahead and hit add taxonomy. Now, if we hover over post, you'll see we have our all posts, add new, categories, tags, and we have this new selection here for post templates, which is the taxonomy we just created. So we'll click here onto post templates, and we're going to go ahead and add two new categories. So one will be template A, and the other will be template B. Now that we have those two created, we can go into our post and assign post to a specific template. So I'll go ahead and open these first three here. And over on the right hand side now, you can see we now have post templates. So this one was template A before. So I'll just go ahead and give this one template B. We'll go to the second post here under post templates and we'll give this one A. And the third one, we'll go ahead and give it A as well. 
So we'll hit update on those and we can close those out. Now we need to go tell our elements to show the post based on that new taxonomy we created. So if we click on elements and go here to our single post template A and post B, I'm going to get both of those opened up. We'll scroll down here to the location and we'll scroll down till we find post template. So for this template A, we're going to show it when it's on the post template template A. Go ahead and hit update. And for single post template B, we'll scroll down and we'll change this to post template and you guessed it, post template B. So we'll hit update these now and close those down and we can go back to our posts. So this first post here, I know we assigned it template B. So when we open this up, this should be the two column template, which it is. The second one, we assigned the taxonomy of template A. So this should be the single. And this last one, I think we did template A as well. So it should be the single column. So just like that, we were able to control which template is showed on which post via a custom taxonomy. Now there are all kinds of scenarios where this might be useful and you're not limited to just post either. You could do this for custom post types or even pages. So really the only limitation is your imagination. So if you didn't know this little trick in Generate Press, I hope that you learned something today. And if you have any ideas or questions that you'd like to see covered here in a tutorial video, just drop a comment below and I'll be glad to see how I can help.